This is how you can make a YT MP3 command. So let's go ahead and get started. Before I show you how to do this, I'd like to say that if you'd like to get access to the source code from this video or other videos on my channel, you can do so by joining a channel membership on YouTube or a subscription over on Discord. On Discord, if you get the God or Custom Bot tier, you'll get access to that source code. And of course, over on YouTube here, if you get the Super God or Custom Bot tier, you'll also get access to that source code. And of course, on both platforms, if you get the Custom Bot tier, me and my team will code you a personalized custom Discord bot. If any of this is of interest to you, go ahead and click the links in the description below to get started with this, and let's go and get into the video. So we're going to start by going to the link in the description below. This is the, the Rapid API. So we're going to be using this API to get the YTMP3 command, which if you don't know, uh, YTMP3 means that you can actually download the MP3 file of a YouTube video. So this can be a YouTube short or a long form video, and it can even be super, super long. It's worked for like three hour plus uh, videos for me. Anyways, once you're here, you're going to go ahead and click on any one of these random APIs. Then you're going to go over to the code snippets, and you're going to go ahead and choose node.js, and you're going to see your API key here. Now, obviously, I'm going to have to blur this out so you guys can't use it, but you're going to want to go ahead and copy this API key within the string right next to the X rapid API key. So you're going to want to copy that and you're going to want to paste it somewhere safe because we're going to be using it in just a second. So after you have your API key, we can go over to our moderation or community. I'm going to do community and we can create YTMP3 touch AS. And here we can do cause. We're going to get our slash command builder. We can get our embed builder and get our action row builder. We can get our button builder and we can get our button style and then we can set that equal to require and we're going to go ahead and get discord.js then we can do const axios equals require and we're going to get that same package make sure you install that otherwise this will not work we can do module that exports we can go ahead and open this up we're going to get data we're going to get our new slash command builder we're going to go ahead and set a name here this is going to be a ytmp3 then we can go ahead and say a description. We can go ahead and say download MP3 versions of YT videos. And we can go ahead and add a string option. We can go ahead and do option arrow function option dot set name. This can go ahead and be our video ID. And we can go ahead and say a description. We can say the ID of your video. And we're going to go ahead and set required to true. We can add a comma. We're going to do async executes. We can go ahead and get our interaction. And we're going to go ahead and open this up. In here, we can go ahead and defer or apply. So we can do interaction dot defer apply. And in here, we can set informal to true. That way, only you can see this message here. Then after doing that, we can do const. And we're going to go ahead and get our options. We're going to equal that to our interaction. We can do const vid id equals options dot get string. And that is going to be our video id. Then we can make our input object that we're going to pass in to the API. So we can do const input equals. We're going to go ahead and open up a new object here. Do method and we're going to set that to get and we can do comma. We're going to get our URL, which is going to be the API URL. So we're just going to go ahead and copy and paste this URL in here. Just make sure you spell this right um, and copy that all down in there. Then we can do parameters and we're going to go ahead and get our ID. Uh, which is going to be our vid ID variable just like that. We can add a comma We're gonna get headers and we're gonna go in and open this up So in here we're gonna do a string We're gonna do X and we're gonna do a rapid API We can do dash key and we're gonna go ahead and set that equal to our API key Now I'm gonna go ahead and add this in later because I do not want to have to blur any of this code out Make sure you add in that API key that we got in the very beginning of this video. Otherwise, this won't work. So then we can go ahead and add a comma and we're going to do X. We can do our rapid API and we can do a host and then we can add a colon. Then we can go ahead and copy this in here. So um, this is going to be the API that we're going to be using for this. It's a API within rapid API. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Just make sure you copy this down. It's pretty much the end of this link, just so you know. Um, it's just a little bit different. So then after doing that, so we can go ahead and finish off our object. And we can come down here. We're going to go ahead and open up a try. We're going to do const response equals await axios dot request. And we can go ahead and get our input. So we're going to go ahead and make a request uh, using that object that we just created. Then we can actually go to make our button. So we can do a const button equals new action row builder. We can add components and we can do new button builder. We're going to go ahead and set a label. This is going to be an emoji here. We'll do the mailbox emoji and we can say download. We can say mp3. Then we can go ahead and set a style and we're going to go ahead and get button style dot link. And finally, we can do set URL and this is going to be response dot data dot link just like that. So after we create our button here, we're going to go ahead and make our embed. So we can do const embed equals new embed builder. And we can go down here and set a color. This is going to be blur 
purple. And then you can go ahead and say a description. I'm gonna open up some emojis here. We do the pointing emoji, and we can go ahead and say click below to get your MP3 version of. And we can do backslash tick. We can do response.data.title. So we're gonna go ahead and get our title within this embed. Next, we can go ahead and send the button and the embed within a message. So we can do await interaction edit reply. And we can go ahead and get our embeds. And we're going to go ahead and get our embed. And we can get our components. And that is going to be our button components. So then after doing that, we are going to actually go ahead and create our error catch. So right here, we can go ahead and catch an error. And we're going to go ahead and open this up. We can do await interaction edit reply. And we're going to say content. And I'm going to get that same pointing emoji here. Uh, just like we did above in the embed and we can say that video ID does not exist Go to the YouTube link and copy the ID after the equal sign or the slash So then after doing that we are actually done with this entire command So I'm gonna go ahead and add my API key in now if you haven't already make sure you go ahead and do that again If you don't it will not work and after I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and save the file and restart the bot to test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server, we're gonna go ahead and test this out so we can go ahead and get our YTMP3 command. We're gonna go ahead and get our video ID. So to do this, we're gonna go over to YouTube and we can just go ahead and find a video. So I'm gonna go ahead and find uh, a video on my channel and we can go to the URL here. This is the video ID. So we can just go ahead and click copy ID. You can also find it by clicking the ID right here. Um, and copying that if you would like in the share button. So then after you do that, we can go over here and we're just gonna go ahead and paste that ID in there. And then we can go ahead and send it here. And it's gonna go ahead and say, click below to get your MP3 version of, it's gonna give me the title of my video. And if we actually go ahead and click on this button here, it's gonna open up this site here. And if we actually go ahead and click the download button, it's gonna go ahead and redirect me. Now, sometimes it's gonna redirect me to an ad. So all you have to do is click back and we can just go ahead and click download. Now, again, it's pretty laggy. So as you can see, it took a couple clicks uh, for me to actually get this right here. But once it pops up in your downloads, all you have to do is click save, and then you can go ahead and open it up here. And as this you can see, you can make a GIF command for discord.js. You're gonna get the entire MP4 of the video. So it's not an MP3, it's not gonna download the video, but it is a audio clip. So where this comes in super useful is, let's say we go ahead and find some music on YouTube. So we find this NCS song that we wanna download, right? Maybe for a stream or something like that but you don't want to screen record it and it's kind of hard to find it on SoundCloud or something where you can download it. And instead of having to go to some sketchy scam website to download it like that, all you have to do is run it in your Discord bot. So we can do YTMP3, send our ID, and it's going to give us our download link right here. All you have to do is click it and you can go in and download it. And there you have it. Your MP3 is actually on your desktop. This is super, super useful, especially if you're trying to get some music uh, like this NCS on your computer. I know I've had to do this many, many times. I wish I had a bot like this that could do it. So that's how you can make a YT to MP3 command using your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels here and we'll be happy to help you out. And you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community. And with that, I will see you guys in the next video.